RealAirCulture.com presents Under the Microscope with BioVision Seed Labs. All right, RealAirCulture.com is here with Holly Gellich, Business Development Manager with BioVision Seed Labs. Welcome here, Holly. Hello, Lindsay. Hello. All right. Uh, spring is going to come eventually. Uh, and with it comes a bit of an increased uh, reach of club root on the prairies. We've had viable spores confirmed in Manitoba, uh, up to three fields now in Saskatchewan with confirmed viable spores. So um, this is this is certainly creeping up on the radar. So can the average farmer just send in a soil sample and say, please check for club root? Absolutely, yes, they okay. can do that. Uh, so this is... Uh, very much a, a diagnostic tool has been around for about five years, okay. but it's primarily being used in the province of Alberta because right. we really had uh, club root declared a pest in 2007. So, and obviously the first field in Alberta was found in 2003. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it is very much top of mind of uh, Alberta producers, uh, Alberta farmers, ag fieldmen, the government. So yeah. um, across Western Canada, yes, you can submit soil samples as well as plant tissue to labs for okay. diagnostics. Now, there's a number of different diagnostics a farmer can do. So one of them, obviously, is during the growing season, and that's pulling your canola plants. You see some that are wilting, early senescing. There definitely seems to be a problem, especially at the flowering stage. So basically pulling up the plants, doing a visual assessment of the roots. Are they healthy or do they have the galls that are characteristic to, to right. the pathogen? Right. Uh, the other tool is utilizing the services of a laboratory like BioVision, and we have implemented a diagnostic tool, which is a PCR DNA method. So okay. it, is, uh, it is really analyzing to see if there is the zoo spores that are present or in, the so in the soil. All right. So when farmers get um, their results back, what sort of, I mean, is it just a yes or no, a positive negative? Or do you actually give them sort of a, a range or a unit of, of infection? So with the, the tool that we utilize, the PCR tool, we can detect uh, club root in fresh root tissue up to three days post-infection. So okay. it's very quick. Now mm -hmm. the, the club root uh, pathogen itself, once it gets into the root, it produces a plasmodium which explodes yes. into the root. So yes. its growth yeah. is very, very quickly. So that's the case on plant tissue. Now the case of soil, uh, we are, we our detection limits, the lowest detection limit that we have is 1,000 spores per gram of soil, okay? okay. So uh, the result coming to the clients will be either uh, detected or a non-detected. Okay. So now when you're, when you're testing for this, is it just the, do you take a sample from just like zero to six inches or do you need to go further down or is there any protocol in place for, for farmers? Absolutely. The Canola Council of Canada has a fantastic protocol for sampling, as well as each of the provincial governments in Western Canada also has the, uh, the suggested recommendations for sampling as, as well as submitting. And again, what they're talking is really these spores maintain viable in the top uh, five, six inches of the soil. Right. So uh, the recommendation is to go into the field. Uh, at the entrance point, because that's t that tends to be where it is showing up. Right. Um, conduct W-shaped patterns, uh, select five different subsamples in that W-shaped pattern, create a composite, and then okay. send the composite to the laboratory. Okay, and around how long is the turnaround time? Uh, the turnaround time is roughly uh, five to seven business days. Okay. But if there is a situation where quicker results need to be facilitated for trialing, such as um, whether it's uh, environmental trialing, construction going in, mm -hmm. or agricultural, it can be done a little quicker than that. Okay. So, uh, but the biggest thing is to ensure that the composite is created thoroughly. That is one of the most important messages to bring home. Mm -hmm. And then the submission um, to the laboratory is very important. Now, you can submit it in a plastic bag. Sometimes they, the Ziplocs can break open. So that's not our recommendation we actually have purchased um, tamper-proof plastic containers. They look almost like a uh, the size of a peanut butter jar, mm -hmm. and it has a sealable lid. So as soon as the, the the client seals it, it's like a water bottle lid that when we receive it here, we're going to break the seal. Okay, great. Okay, well, you know, it's unfortunate that we have to have these discussions, especially for for more provinces than just Alberta, but certainly knowing that you have it, 
or, or a level of it means that you can start to take action to, to reduce your risk. So um, always a good tool to know yes or no whether or not you have club roots. So thank you so much, Holly, and we'll talk again soon. Yes, yeah, thank you.